In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to write a program that can parse a simple data structure. A data structure is simply a collection of data elements. Before a data structure can be properly understood, it must be broken down into smaller pieces, and we refer to this process as parsing. Parsing just refers to looking at each element of a data structure and understanding it as we go. You can think of this process as being similar to the way that you read a page. First you look at each individual word and then understanding the meaning of a sentence is only possible once each individual word has been read and understood. Okay, so let's begin. To start with, we will be looking at a very simple kind of data structure, a date. In this case, our date format is going to be four characters for the year, two characters for the month, and two characters for the day. That means that the first four bytes of our data structure can be properly understood as the year, the fifth and sixth bytes as the month, and the last two bytes as the day. Before you can parse any data structure, you must know its format. Now let's go ahead and create our string of text that is going to contain today's date. Now when you look at this string of text, you should understand that it is, it is actually three different pieces of information, a year, a month, and a day, all rolled into one. So what we need to do is we need to think of this one array, or this one data structure, as being three different things, a year, a month, and a day. So what we can do is create data containers for each of these three bits of information. We'll create one for the year, one for the month, and one for the day. And we can fill those data containers with with fake data for the time being and then replace that with real data later on. So let's do that. We'll create a placeholder for the year and we'll just set it to four Y's. We'll do the same thing for the month and the same thing for the day. Also, just to keep the code looking nice, we'll go ahead and format it like this. Now keep in mind that each of these arrays consists of the number of characters that I've placed into them plus a null termination character that you can't see. So this is not four elements in size, it is five elements in size. If I wanted to create these arrays specifying how big they were, I would do this. Now there's no reason to do that because C can of course figure out the size without my help and so I don't need to place those numbers. Now the challenge will be to fill these arrays with the proper information. I need the year to contain 2012, the month to contain 08, and the day to contain 05. Now how do I do that? First of all, you need to understand that whenever you're working with a data structure of any kind, you need to use a pointer. You have to go through the memory one byte at a time in order to understand it. So let's create a pointer. It'll be a care pointer. We'll call it my pointer and we will point it to the first character which is the two and we do it like that. Now remember I don't have to say address of date because date itself already refers to data that is larger than a single element of a given data type and therefore we know that we're already working with a pointer. Anytime you're working with data larger than a single element of a given data type, you are working with a pointer. So that's how we know that we have set this properly. Now we can test it very easily. We can just simply uh, try to print the character that we are referring to. We say print whatever is at the memory address my pointer and if we run this program you will see that it prints the 2 from 2012. So we know that that is right. Now the next thing you should be able to see here is that what is at the memory address my pointer is also being the first character of the date is what we want to replace this Y with. So how do we do that? Well we can just simply say that year 0 which is the first element of the array year is now set to not Y which is set to right now but rather what is at the memory address my pointer and there you go. Now let's go ahead and create a print statement that's going to show that we, we're done parsing this entire data structure. So we're going to say the year is and the month is 
and the days. Now this doesn't work yet, but it will. Well, let me go ahead and run this just so you can see what it looks like. So we have little underlined areas for where we're going to put our data. Now let's go ahead and start with the year. We're going to put a percent %s indicating we're, ex we're expecting a string of text and we'll put year. Now if we run this, you can see that the first y has been changed to a 2 by setting it to what is at the memory address my pointer. So how do we set the second character? Well, remember each array element starts at 0 and works its way up. So this would be the very next character, which would be right here. And we're going to set it to what is at the memory address, not my pointer, but what is at the memory address of my pointer plus 1. That will be one byte further in memory. We're not changing the value contained in my pointer. Rather, what we're doing is we're using an offset. We're, s we're specifying how far away from that memory address we want to be in order to find the data that we're looking for. Now, this is identical to if we had said this. Here we're using an offset of 0, and it's the same thing. What you see here inside of the brackets of the array is an offset as well. In this case, the offset 0 is going to refer to whatever is at that location in memory. An offset of 1 is going to be the very next thing, the very next element. So if we go ahead and run this, you should notice now that the first y has been changed to a 2 and the second to a 0. Take a look. And we're well on our way. So let's go ahead and do that for the next two characters. And now the year is done and you see that the year is 2012. Now if I was to change the original string of text, let's just say 2011, you'll see that this is reflected in our result, the year is 2011. So all we have to do is simply repeat the same process for the month and the year. So month zero is going to be the very next byte in memory and month one is going to be the byte immediately after that. And then we just need to replace this with a percent %s. Now notice that we're running out of space here. That's not a problem. I can just do a new line and continue. Now if we run this, you'll see the result. We're almost done. We have the year and we have the month. All we need is the day. So day 0 is going to be what? Well, it's going to be the very next byte in memory, so it's going to be what is at the memory address of my pointer offset plus 6, and day 1 is going to of course be plus 7, and I just need to replace this with a percent %s, day, and we're done. Take a look. Now if I were to change the date, it's not going to affect anything. If I want to make this January 16th of 2011, you'll see that when we run this, it will still parse it correctly. So in this lesson, I've shown you how you can take a simple data structure that consists of three different data elements, break it down into its individual elements, and finally print a string of text that demonstrates that this data structure has been properly parsed. Also, I've shown you the relation between offsets and array indexing. For example, when you put the zero in brackets, you're saying that the offset is zero, and so on. In later lessons, we'll explore this in greater depth. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask.